Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Taking Door, and in this video, I'll show you how to get split view mode or multi window mode on MIUI. So, before proceeding, there are some pre requests for this method to work. So, the first thing is your MIUI version should be MIUI 8.2 or above. And the second thing is under additional settings, under developer options, when you scroll all the way down, you need to find a toggle stating force activities to be resizable make all activities resizable for multi windows so only if this toggle is present under developer options in your MIUI ROM this method will work so if your MIUI ROM does not have this toggle this method will not work so just quit the video so now assuming that your MIUI ROM has this toggle under developer options now enable the toggle and go to play store and download the button mapper application so now the so now once the application is installed open the button mapper application and now it will ask you for accessibility permissions so just grant it accessibility permissions Now select the home button option and select long press and select split screen. So now to enable split screen mode, open any application like Chrome or YouTube and tap and hold the home button and swipe up from the home button towards the screen and you will enter into split screen mode. And now you can select any application to run in the bottom section. So you can basically use the split screen mode with most of the system applications and even some third party applications like YouTube, WhatsApp and Facebook and more such applications. So the stability of split screen mode varies with MIUI ROMs and even various devices. So it might work perfectly fine without any crashes on some device. It might crash very often on certain devices, especially in my device, which is a Xiaomi Mi 4 running on MIUI 7.6.15 developer ROM it crashes a lot of times so what should you do if the split screen mode crashes so when the split screen mode crashes the navigation buttons will stop working so it won't respond to your touch so you cannot go back from whatever application you are using so when the split screen mode crashes what you have to do is pull down the notification tray and click on the settings icon or the gear icon in the top right corner and go into the installed applications and select the button mapper application and select force stop and now the navigation buttons will work fine so but you have to set up the button mapper application from the beginning so yeah, that's the only thing with this method. If it's stable for your device, well, it's well and good. You can use it without any issues. But if it is not stable on your device, it will crash a lot of times. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you found this video useful, go down and hit the like button because that means a lot to me. And that is what encourages me to make more videos like this. And for more awesome videos like this, go down and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to that subscribe button so that you get notified as soon as I upload another new video. And I will see you guys later. See ya.